Hello and welcome back to the show. My name is Relevant. This is Do All The Things. On today's episode, the Interfax HP1, a clone that is, except I built a second one and I changed a few things and I want to see if they're going to sound the same. Stay tuned to find out if they're going to sound the same. Ah, two clones, alike in power, starstruck poetry, blah, blah, blah. Ah, what do we have here? That's the HP1 clone that I built on a previous episode. And here is the schematic that I used, known as the giblet schematic. People have used it with good results. It worked for me. I don't know if this sounds like what an HP1 is supposed to sound like. It's hard to tell from sound clips online because there's a lot of factors that you can't really tell, but it gave me a sound I liked. I liked it enough, I built myself one. This was initially a commission for someone. This is the one I built for myself. It's like if a fuzz pedal could actually crunch and squeal. So yeah, a lot more useful to me than some other pedal designs. But when I went and built mine, I, I didn't buy into some of the hoodoo voodoo that was in this schematic because if you look at it, they are very freaking specific on uh, what capacitors to use. So C3 and C6 100 NF, AKA 0.1 UF, they say to use a ceramic disc. Now, usually in audio, a ceramic disc is a no-no. Uh, they're not well regarded and I don't know that they sound bad. It's just their values drift horribly with temperature If you use them to build a guitar amp It could sound different from when you first turn it on to after it's been running a while Some of them if you just put your finger on just the heat from your hands can literally change the capacitance of it over here 50 NF aka 0.05 UF which doesn't exist anymore. So you use a 4.7 or a 5.6 they're calling for a green cap. That's just uh, your common bog standard uh, polyester film. Polyester film. I don't think you'll feel a difference between a polyester film and a propylene or uh, one of the other ones. But right here, this 100 PF shunt to ground. Uh, I think that's gonna filter out some Specifically, they want a mica. So when I built this one for Buddy, I, I did all that. There's a mica that I got, 0.1 ceramic discs. Oh, and a tantalum. This 47 hue here, they call for a tantalum. Tantalums, uh, they're kind of passe. Uh, they're not used as much anymore because they're supposed to be unreliable, but they are smaller. But whatever, there's a tantalum in there. Now, one thing that I did in this pedal that I've done in all the other pedals I built is I've used quarter watt, 1% metal film resistors, precision resistors, uh, half because you can get these oddball values like 91K and 750 in those size by KOA Spear from Mauser. So what did I do differently in my pedal? Well, you're gonna notice the PCB is different, but that has nothing to do with tone. I just got new PCBs in stock and wanted to use it for this project. So there's our, our, our 47 NF green cap, which is yellow often. There's our 100 PF and there's our 0.1 UFs. And what are those? They're ceramic capacitors. You know, we're gonna be using ceramics for the 2.1s. That's not a mica anymore. That's also ceramic. They're specifically, uh, they could be Murata or TDK. I know the 0.1s are Murata. Those are MLCCs with a COG NPO type dielectric, which are very stable. And actually as far as capacitors go, to my testing and even to my ears, they're good quality capacitors. I've, I've used them in some audio applications and they sound great. I would almost want to use them over a cheap polyester film. And of course the quality capacitor comes with the price tag. You're not exactly going to be breaking the bank building a one-off pedal for yourself, but I could see why a corporation might not want to use the more expensive ceramics over a cheap polyester film. Now we have our 404 and we have our transistor, the usual affair, but instead of a tantalum, there's a typical 47U electrolytic. That's a, an audio grade Nishinon, I think. Other than that, everything else in here is gonna be identical. So let's plug in. We've got the usual suspects, the old uh, Marshy 800 here. Takes pedals well, and it's what I enjoy playing this on. And of course we have a cable that doesn't quite flex in the directions we want it to. Okay, cooperate. The batteries are roughly the same voltage. <laughs> oh, we're instituting. Instituting? We're instituting some margins of error already. Of course, there could be margin of error variances between the transistors, especially germanium PNPs. Germaniums aren't known to have the best quality control. 
And I don't know, just certain variations. But, well, let's find out. All right, same value input capacitor. Next, a little noisier. definitely something different going on there. It's almost like there's more information coming out of mine, more psh, more f now Let's just crank all these knobs to see. might have been slightly off, but why is it? One's humming worse than the other. Is that something to do with the uh, order they're plugged in? No, mine's just more hummy. That might be because of this capacitor's hanging out. The fact of the matter is I don't want to use a 473 on here, so I don't want to cut one. Now, the other thing is uh, we're, we're plugged into the uh, high input. We're using this as an overdrive right now. This would be the normal tone into a clean channel. Thank you. 
they sound so similar that I almost want to say don't bother getting the specialty capacitors. If you just want to bang one of these off, totally just get normal capacitors, ceramic MLCCs, electrolytic, ceramic 100P. Just build the darn thing. And if you really like it and want to try to exercise that more authentic vibe, then by all means, build another one with the other capacitors. Oh, I forgot to mention one change that I did do. In the one that I built, there's this jumper here that switches between 20K and 91K on the bottom of the circuit right here where it says, sometimes they use 91K. I, I found in practice, I preferred the sound of 20K. So I put just the 20K in here. So just to margin of error this guy, we're gonna do a little bit of a swapski, swapski, swapski here. Now the problem with mine is I don't wanna commit this transistor and that capacitor to the circuit. On his, well, yes, absolutely. So we're gonna swap the transistors around, both of them. I actually really like this transistor in my, uh, my RAT in place of the JFET. So that's where I've been using it and the input capacitors. I actually quite enjoy the sound of this uh, unit with the, the Russian transistor that I discussed in the last video. So that's another thing. You can get great results out of the circuit if you don't can't get the exact components. So, oh, hold on. One more thing I wanna swap. I'm gonna swap the batteries too, just to eliminate that margin of error. Like they're, they, they metered like within 0.1 volt of each other. So not something I'm gonna fuss over. Mind you, they're also di di <laughs> they're also different chemistries. In before the you're doing it wrong comment. There they asked me in Jack Shame. It's funny, it's harder to tell the difference between them now. It's almost like there were some variances in the components and swapping them around balanced it out. Well, funny that. Let's go back to overdrive mode. That's where the real fun is. noises. Oh, who's buzzing? This one's a bit more buzzier now. I think it's because that cap's got its butt hanging out in the breeze. Okay, 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 okay. What have we learned here? There are some that say differences in capacitors make all the difference in the world. They can hear the difference between a ceramic and a polyester and a mica. And you know what? These two pedals do sound slightly different from each other, but they sound close enough that I believe in my experience, and I do have some expertise in the fields of electronics, even though it might not seem like it, and I don't really present myself here as an expert, that if you build this pedal with commonly available components, 
like just nice ceramic MLCCs if you can't find a ceramic disc in point one. Because, you know, Mauser and them, they don't really sell the ceramics much anymore. Not, not the discs, that is. And, you know, if you maybe, you know, kind of like something like, uh, don't want to use a tantalum for the 47, I really don't think you have to. Especially in this position here, that looks more like power stabilization. And, like, there's not the audio path here. Like, I guess there could be some reference through ground. But for the most part, I think that's just supposed to stabilize current flow between those two uh, transistors, and it's not going to affect the tone as much. So, that said, just build the thing. And let me show you a little bit of my personal flavors. Because I do enjoy, I, I don't I don't much care for this thing, just like uh, plugged into the clean channel and doing that kind of thing. It's not fun to me. But what is fun to me is running as an overdrive. And I like to choke that capacitor value there. Basically this uh, 50 NF. Right now I got a 22 NF in there. And I find I prefer the sound of it. It's a little bit down. So if we bring it down even more, this is a 2.2 NF. Man, I'm really like forgetting how to guitar today. I was actually playing 2.2 or no 4.7 NF for a while. I find it thin now. I don't know what I was thinking before. I'm just flopped in a 10 N in there. I want to hear what that's going to sound like. And of course, I left my pick over there.
fretboard. This pedal's fun, man. Try, try it out. Try it out. Try it with the same components you would normally use. Try it with different capacitors. Try it with different transistors. Here's that Russian. I like the sound of that Russian in here. A little bit crispier. I think I'm just wanking off now. I don't know what else there is to say. I think my points got across. I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, stay tuned for more. Uh, I don't have any more pedal builds planned for the next little while. Uh, there's gonna be some more amp stuff coming though. So, stay tuned. Mm -hmm.